a very simple yet beautiful animation that you can use as an intro title. This tutorial will cover the basic and most fundamental techniques to making animations inside Premiere Pro. What's up guys, it's Jordi here for Cinecom.net and welcome to the channel that is all about being creative and today we're going to be creative with Premiere Pro again. We're going to make this awesome animation here and it covers some great techniques that are fundamental if you are starting out to making animations inside Premiere. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a new sequence. So you can do that from the new item menu right here and then click on sequence. And let me just give that a name. Let's say awesome title. There we go. And uh, I'm first going to drag in a clip that I'm going to use as the background for the title. Got some light bulbs right here. So just drag that into your timeline. And I'm just going to keep the same settings. There we go. And uh, on top of that, I'm going to create the title that we're going to use. Let's go to that new item menu and head over to title. And this is going to be the main title. Press OK. And it pops up on my other screen. There we go. And uh, so let's just make a title in here. Something that works pretty well are big letters, all in capital. But uh, you know, it's completely up to you what kind of style that you would like to use here. Welcome to light bulbs. And as the font, I'm going to use the REL. And uh, let's pick out something like bald here. There we go. And make that pure white looking awesome. So you can scale this up a little bit if you like to. Now very important here is that we are going to stick above the center line. And you can see that we've got this little line right here that represents the middle. And what you can do to make sure that you are above that is first align your text just above that line somewhere like this and then press this little button right here, horizontal center, and that will actually put it in the middle. Now don't click the vertical center because that will position it on that line and you want it to be above that line. There you go. Then just close your titler and uh, you can already drag that title in your timeline. And the next thing that we're going to do now is create another title and this is going to be the uh, the subtitle actually. So uh, let me just name that light bulbs. And uh, let's make that a little bit thinner. Also here, take back that RDL. And as for the font style, I'm going to use just a regular font, perhaps make that a bit smaller. There we go. Also again here, now we're going to stay below that line, like so, and we're going to center that up again. This looks awesome. All right, just close that titler again and drag in your text now above that one. But there's no animation yet. So that's what we're going to create right now. The first thing that we're going to animate is the actual video. And we wanted to open up some sort of a transition. And that can be done with the crop effect. So just head over to your effects library and search for crop. Drag that effect onto your video clip and head over to effects controls. And from here in the crop effect, you can see that we have several options here to yeah, crop the image. And to make it go open, we first have to close the video. So we're going to crop from the top and uh, I'm just going to put that on 50%, which is right in the half. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the bottom. Also put that on 50%. And now it's closed. Then create keyframes for that for the top and the bottom. And move a little bit forward in time. And then we're going to make those values 0 for the top and 0 for the bottom. And now we'll see that the animation goes as we want it. Now if this goes too fast for you, then just take these two last keyframes and move them a bit to the right like that. And now it takes a bit longer. And this is something very crucial here. Animations only look good if you smoothen out the keyframes. Currently, this animation starts very hard and also ends very hard. And to make it start smoothly and also end smoothly, it's actually very simply done by just saying to this keyframe that it doesn't have to be linear, but that it has to be a bezier or an ease in or ease out. And that's simply done by just selecting the keyframes that you want to be eased, then right click on it and say ease in. And now you might think, why not select ease out? Because this is the last keyframe. Well, I'm going to select ease in for here. And that's because the animation comes from the left and comes in to the right. So for the first keyframes, I'm going to select both of them, right click and say ease out as the animation comes out of this keyframe. And as we're going to play this now back, you'll see that the animation starts way smoother and also ends smoother. And that's exactly what we want. All right, let's focus on a title now. What you want to do is bring the main title down to below the center. 
Now inside the titler, we had these two lines on the site, and we don't see them anymore in the program monitor, but we can enable that if we like so. And to do that, just head over to this little settings uh, button right here, click on that, and say save margins. So let's create a keyframe now for the position of that main title. And uh, that keyframe is currently set at its current position. And I'm going to head back in time now, because there it starts below this line right here. So just drag that title below that line. It doesn't really have to be perfect here, just make sure that you are below that line. There you go. Now also here, important, right click on that keyframe, temporal interpolation, ease out. And the same thing for the other keyframe, temporal interpolation, ease in. And now the text starts and ends smoothly. Now let's do the same thing for the subtitle, select that one and uh, create a keyframe for the position here as well. Head back in time. And now we're going to move this above that line. There we go. Also here again, right click, make sure it eases out and the other one eases in. Now, as we saw in the original footage, let me just go back to that one here. You see the title kind of comes in from uh, nowhere and the other title also. And that's also done with the crop effect. So we're also going to animate the crop together with the position. So head back to the uh, sequence that we're working on. And also here I'm going to drag the crop effect. Let's start with the main title. And I'm going to uh, position my time ruler to the first keyframe of the position. And you can hold down your shift key, make it snap to the keyframes as you can see. So make sure that you are starting right here. And we are going to create a keyframe now for the bottom crop. Now, very important here is that the crop sits at the exact center. And you can also just take that here visually if you like. So just make sure that you have the crop effect selected. If you don't have it selected like that, you can change it visually. So make sure to select the crop effect and that allows you to visually change that inside your program monitor. Now make sure that the bottom crop sits at the exact center. There we go. Then head to the ending keyframe of the position of that title and make sure that the crop sits back at that middle. And also here, make sure that it eases in and that it eases out for the crop effect. And normally, if everything went well, that line should stay somehow in the middle. It could be that it's not perfect, but it does save us a lot of time instead of uh, keyframing every frame here separate. And that makes it appear like the title is actually coming in from nowhere land. All right, let's do that same thing now again for the subtitle. Select that one add the crop effect to it. And now instead of the bottom, we're going to animate the top. So again, select your crop effect, make sure that your crop here sits in the center, in the beginning position, of course, make sure that it there sits somehow in the middle and create a keyframe for the top, going to head over to the last keyframe of the position of that title, select your crop effect again, and now move that line up again back to the middle. There we go. Again, right click, say ease in and right click, oops, right click and say ease out. And if everything goes well now, we have a beautiful animation. Now you can also play with the offset a little bit. Currently two titles kind of flow out at the same time, but if you like, so you can also offset this a little bit like so. And now the main title comes in first and then the subtitle comes in second. And then your awesome after movie can start about the light bulbs party. By the way, if you would like to get five tips for shooting an after movie, just hit that card somewhere up here and that will bring you to another video. So the last thing that we have to do right now is transition this out again, everything. And so that we can go to the actual montage of the after movie or whatever you are making. So what I'm going to do is first of all, crop all of these uh, clips together, select all of them, right click and say nest. Now what this will do is put all of these clips inside a new sequence and put that sequence in this sequence. I said this before, but it's like sequenceception. We're just putting a sequence inside a sequence. So give it a name, let's say intro title, press OK. Everything is grouped inside this sequence. And if you double click on it, it will also open up. So here you can still make changes if you like so. So back to the main timeline here. What I'm going to do is uh, move this up to channel number two. And I'm going to head over to my project panel because I've got a second clip right here of some more light bulbs. This was actually shot at a BMW mini event where they were showcasing the new mini countryman. It was pretty awesome. So I'm going to drag this clip underneath that title intro. Now what I like to do here is make a transition so that this clip opens up. Again, we're going to take the crop effect. So head over to your effects, drag in that crop and head over to your effects controls, 
And you know what that means? It has to start at 50% right here. But that turns into a problem because now it just got off in half. So what we have to do here is make a duplication of this sequence and we're going to set the other half on top. So just hold down your Alt key and drag that sequence to channel number three. Let go of your mouse and that will make a duplication of it. But make sure you hold down that Alt key, very important here. Then inside your crop effect of that second clip, we're going to set the top to zero and the bottom to 50. The top clip contains the top half of that clip and the bottom clip contains the bottom half of that clip. And what we can do now is very easily, I'm going to start when the clip below this intro title starts, I'm going to create a keyframe for the bottom and also here for the top. Then I'm going to move a bit further in time and we're going to set this to 100 now so that it opens up from 50%. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the upper half. Also there, the bottom goes to 100 now. And as you will see now, the animation will open up that clip. Now, some of you might think, hey, Premiere Pro has this transition, so why do all this effort? You know, we can just drag and drop a transition right here from the video transitions to have that same effect. Well, here is why. That transition, unfortunately, cannot create smooth keyframes. And that's the whole thing about this tutorial. We have to create smooth keyframes to make the animation look professional, to make it look good. So also here, right click on your keyframes, say ease in, and for your one, ease out. The same thing for the other clip here, the bottom half, make it ease in and make it ease out. And that will make a smooth transition, which looks so much better than that standard video transition in Premiere. And that was it for this video tutorial, guys. If you are using this title animation somewhere in your project, let me know, put a link in the comments below, and I'm very happy to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.